हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम तो आज आप लोगों का एग्जाम आई होप बहुत अच्छा हुआ होगा सो ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव डन एग्जाम वंडरफुली एंड टुडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग डोमेटोलॉजी क्वेश्चन एंड एज आई हैव सीन दीज क्वेश्चन आई एम वेरी हैप्पी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू बिकॉज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑलमोस्ट ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन इन आर टी एंड डी एज वेल एज इन आर रेगुलर बैच क्लासेज सो ऑल माई स्टूडेंट्स मस्ट हैव आंसर्स दीज क्वेश्चन करेक्टली तो एटलीस्ट डोमेटोलॉजी में तो आई कैन से के आप लोगों के अच्छे मार्क्स आने वाले हैं बाकी फॉर ओवरऑल आई विल विश यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट सो लेट एस बिगिन विथ टूडे सेशन एंड लेट्स डिस्कस डोमेटोलॉजी क्वेश्चन आई होप आई एम audible and my slide is visible to all of you if yes just type yes in the chat box yes so students let us discuss the first question here uh, this was image based question and in the image as you can see yes dark night thank you very much so uh, in the question uh, there was one image and the image was near medial canthus and i hope all of you must have identified this condition very very common question which have been asked so many times in various exams so 60 year old patient so obviously old individuals are more prone for malignancies so this is one of the malignancy and the site is very characteristic that is medial canthus because this is a very common site for basal cell carcinoma yes basal cell carcinoma and these basal cell carcinomas can present with ulcer and the margins or the edges are very characteristic like you can see these rolled edges so this is a case of basal cell carcinoma yes moving to the next question in this question they said 25 year old male patient okay and one thing more that uh, if you find that any of the options were uh, wrong or the question language was different so you can just type in the uh, chat box okay so uh, here i have the chat box just in front of me so if you feel that any option was missing or any option was wrong which is written here or any question language was different so you can definitely type in the chat box okay so reflex thank you very much yes it was bcc yes so moving on to the next question so in this question again this was image based question and the image of the trunk was given and over the trunk there was these pinkish or reddish lesions and as you can see in the second image uh, this characteristic lesion was given and this lesion was again present over trunk and all of you know trunk is the common site for one of the condition which is mentioned here in the option and what is the question yes the question states that 25 year old young male patient okay has presented with asymptomatic scaly lesions so scaly scaly okay and scaling is very characteristic last time also in inict one match the following question came and there again the different types of scaling was mentioned and different condition have different characteristic scaling so this becomes a very important topic for inict that is a scaling seen in dermatology then lesions on the back so trunk the commonly involved area as shown in the image also symmetrically distributed so lesions were symmetrically present and the provided image showcase the lesion can you identify the pattern uh, which is shown and the specific disease okay so worn off ring first option i hope all of you know worn off ring is the hypopigmented ring which is formed around the lesions of psoriasis it is seen in psoriasis and why they develop because of release of prostaglandins after generally after phototherapy okay so obviously this option is wrong worn off ring is not seen in seborrheic dermatitis it is seen in psoriasis very good so so please keep typing in the chat box if you find that any option was missing or any language of the question is changed because this is a recall session and these are the options of the question which we got and the images which we got so we are going to discuss them and then later on we will come up with the accurate question and the accurate options okay so we will be recording this session again but this is for all of you so that you can know that what option you have marked and which one is the correct option so moving to the second option wickham stry is seen in lichen planus yes this is true wickham stry is seen in lichen planus but is this a patient suffering from lichen planus no because lichen planus presents with pink not pink but purple so purplish lesions are seen okay and other features are also present which i am not going in detail right now because we are going to keep the session short then 
Colored scales, Christmas tree pattern seen in Petrias's Rosia. Yes, so this is the answer. And why this is the answer? Because the Christmas tree pattern or the fir tree pattern is seen in Petrias's Rosia. And agar aap iska naam dekhenge, if you look at the name of the condition, Petrias's means scaling. And here scaling is present. Rosia comes from rose. And rose, aap sabhi ne Valentine Day mein dekha hi hoga. Rose kaisa? Red rose. So red or pink rose, so lesions are pink or reddish in color. This is a case of Petriasis rosea. And when these lesions start developing, they develop along the line of ribs. So because they are present along the line of ribs, agar aap iska longitudinal diameter in lesions ka, if you draw a straight line, you will find a pattern which is similar to Christmas tree or fir tree. So that is the specific pattern and the scaling which is seen is very fine cigarette paper like or color it of scales we have discussed this numerous time in every lecture in every TND session in every live class I discussed this condition and so many times this question have been asked so repeated question again and I hope all of you have marked correct so yes in the chat box tell me how many of you have marked this question correct please type correct in the chat box yes so if your answer was correct then just type correct in the chat box very nice and Christmas tree pattern in psoriasis. No, Christmas tree pattern is not seen in psoriasis. It is seen in Petriasis rosea. So again, this answer is Petriasis rosea. So this is the correct option. Moving to the next question, one image was given and this is a very important investigation which we do in blistering conditions in immunologically mediated blistering disorders. Yes, and this is what? This is DIF, DIF, DIF stands for direct immunofluorescence. So, in direct immunofluorescence, what we do? Yes, what do we do? In direct immunofluorescence, we see the fluorescent antibodies. So, because like, like let us consider a condition, pemphigus, where desmoglin are involved. So, antibodies are formed against desmoglin and wherever desmoglin is present, there you will find these antibodies. And because we are using fluorescent antibodies, you will find the fluorescent under fluorescence microscopy. And that fluorescence gives a characteristic pattern, like the fishnet-like pattern, which can be seen in pemphigus, like linear pattern, which can be seen in bullous pemphigoid. So, such patterns are very characteristic and this is DIF which is considered as the investigation of choice. Investigation of choice for, for immunologically mediated blistering disorders. Yes, very nice. Moving to the next question. Yes, Bindas. So, so if you have any doubt or if you feel that any option is missing or any option was wrong, please keep typing in the chat box. Yes. So yet another question again from the blistering disorders and again we have discussed this so many times again a repeat question a person presented with flaccid blisters which type of blisters flaccid blisters oral mucosal lesions were present and you can see in the image also oral mucosal lesions are present and this is what this is very superficial oral erosions which are present here and the blisters are also flaccid they are not tense they are also superficial blisters shown in the image below along with the histological finding and if you see the histological finding what you can make out you can see that if this is epidermis and below this is dermis and this is what this is the junction so you can see this is the basal layer and above the basal layer is the split. So split is above basal layer that is supra basal split and supra basal split is seen in pemphigus vulgaris. I hope you have marked this correct. Yes, reflex reflex very good so you have marked this question correct very good yes it is pemphigus vulgaris and pemphigus vulgaris remember generally present with oral mucosal erosion so this is the common presentation initially and when you see the histology if you do the biopsy and under microscopy you will get supra basal split so supra basal split is also shown here Moving to the next question, here they are saying all other conditions where non-scarring alopecia can be associated except. So this is again a very common question which is asked. Alopecia, all of you know, is hair loss and it can be of two types. One is known as temporary and one is known as permanent. So permanent is actually scarring. It is also known as sequestatial alopecia while the temporary type of hair loss is non-scarring and non-sequestatial type of alopecia. And you will read these lists in most of the guides and most of the books we also discussed during our notes and during our classes so remember that 
all those alopecias which start with alphabet A and T generally cause non-scarring alopecia and by chance, by luck, you can see that out of these four options, three are starting with A and T. So you see, I give this mnemonic in my classes every time and see, it is so simple to answer this question because three among the four options are starting with A and T. So they are going to cause which type of alopecia? Yes, non-scarring type of alopecia. So the answer here obviously becomes what? Answer becomes frontal fibrosing alopecia which cause scarring that is which cause sequestatial or permanent type of hair loss. Okay, so I hope this answer was also correct for all of you. Yes, very nice Bindas. Frontal fibrosing Shri Krishna, very good. The answer is D and why? Because frontal fibrosis is causing scarring while all these like telogen effluvium, like androgenic alopecia, alopecia areata, all these are treatable conditions. Here the hair loss come back. So this is temporary type of hair loss that is non-scarring alopecia. Yes. So most of the students here have marked this answer correct. Very good Bindas. So if you feel that any question is missed, any image was missing in this discussion which I am taking right now, do type in the chat box and let me know that the language was different or some image was there. Okay, so please, yes. Now, I don't know whether this type of question was there. It was assertion or reasoning type of question or whether it was something like this that we have got from the students that there were two cases mentioned and they asked that whether one is true and the other one is false. Both are true, both are false or the vice versa. Okay, so whether it was this type of question or whether it was reasoning and assertion type of question where they give a assertion and then they give a reason and then they ask you that whether this assertion is correct or whether this reason is correct or whether this is the correct reason for the assertion so just type in the chat box yes so reflex yes easy 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 yes it was easy and dermatology as you know it is high scoring subject and you should never leave dermatology it is not going to take very long time hardly in one or two days you can finish off the revision of dermatology and you can see that eight questions were asked and almost eight of them you could have marked them correctly if you have gone through dermatology okay so that's why i always tell my students that short subjects are very important and high score so coming back, yes, so Sri Krishna is saying that this type of question was not there. So uh, what is the opinion of the students? Yes, please tell me whether this type of question was there or not or whether the format was different because I am also a little bit confused because uh, this is not reasoning and assertion and they have directly mentioned two cases. Anyways, we are going to read this question. If you have any suggestions or you want to tell me that whether such type of question was there or not, just type in the chat box. So here they have said that case one so case one a patient having flaccid bulla with painful erosions okay so again flaccid bulla just now we have discussed flaccid bulla painful erosions will show suprabasal split inflammatory infiltrate in the blister cleft on histopathological examination yes all these are pointing towards the previous condition which we have discussed that is pemphigus vulgaris where flaccid blisters are seen Painful erosions are seen which are generally oral and suprabasal split is present and there can be inflammatory infiltrate which you can see on histopathological examination. Very good. Yes, so Dark Knight is also saying this question was not there. So probably some students have made a mistake and they have told in this way. Anyways, you can see. Then uh, case 2, row of tombstones appearance is diagnostic of pemphigus vulgaris. Yes, this is one investigation that is investigation finding. We do histopathological examination and row of tombstones appearance is seen in pemphigus vulgaris. So both are true. So if such question was there, then the answer will be both are true. Moving on to the next question. Yes, so tell me whether this question was there. Again, a very, very, very easy question and all of you might have seen such patients during your derma OPD visit or your posting because this is a very common condition and here patient start developing dark, that is hyperpigmented, velvety skin over folds. Okay, it's so like neck fold is being shown here and this is obese patient. So another clue because these obese patients have what? They have insulin resistance. They might have metabolic syndrome. So what happens? They start developing this velvety appearance over their neck folds. This is known as acanthosis nigricans. Acanthosis nigricans. And 
because in acanthosis nigricans insulin resistance is also the underlying cause which is present so that was also there in the option and some students got confused whether to mark insulin resistance or whether to mark acanthosis nigricans now read this question again they are saying obese lady presented with velvety appearance so cause can be obesity cause can be diabetes cause can be insulin resistance but the velvety appearance is not insulin resistance velvety appearance is acanthosis nigricans okay yes so sunil is saying that it was 13 year old girl so point well taken sunil thank you very much so we'll change the uh, age group so remember that this is acanthosis nigricans though the underlying cause can be insulin resistance but the answer you will mark is acanthosis nigricans because the because okay so uh, double xt yes so nice name double xt so uh, he's not double xl it is double xt so uh, sir it was 13 years acanthosis and insulin resistance both were in the single option wow very good more easy question so if both were there in the single option then obviously that will be the answer but still if you have these different in, different options then you should go for acanthosis and agricans because they have mentioned velvety appearance okay so insulin resistance might be the cause and as you can see 13 year old as the sunil told that 13 year old girl is there okay so 13 year old girl so 13 year old girl is there so remember that there is one condition which is known as heron that is hyperandronism then insulin resistance and acanthosis nigricans which are associated and seen together okay so that's why it can present in early age group as well okay so generally what happens that in older age group due to lot of obesity or underlying condition like diabetes or metabolic syndrome patient start developing acanthosis nigricans but if you're getting it in early child then it could be due to hyperandronism that is excessive hormones very good so moving on to the next question this was again was very easy that is apocrine glands are commonly present in which part of the body so all of you know that the common sweat glands which are present almost everywhere in a body are ecrine ecrine sweat glands are common and they are present everywhere including palm and sole so some patients have hyperhidrosis of palm and sole that is due to ecrine sweat gland but apocrine are the one which are present over axilla again very easy to remember a for a so remember that apocrine sweat glands are the one which are present over axilla okay and face scalp palm and sole these are the sites where these common sweat glands that is ecrine sweat glands are present okay so very good Sri Krishna have answered this question correctly so tell me just I want to I'm very curious because these were very very obvious questions repeat questions and I just want to know that how many of you have got all these questions correct in the examination so please tell me how many of you have got all the questions correct please type type awesome in the chat box awesome because all of you are awesome all of you must have done these questions correctly and i'm very proud of you so type awesome in the chat box let me know how many of you have answered these all questions correct because i think this was a very very high yield and very very easy uh, dermatology session in your examination and i hope all of you will get very good marks in INICT and all of you will come out with flying colors my best wishes are with you I am waiting yes Shri Krishna said derma was easy so just tell me Shri Krishna whether you answered all of them correct or not yes please yes so Paramoin is the first one who have answered and very good you have done awesome very nice so all correct very good very good so yes anyone 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 who have done this session awesome in the examination all corrects very nice very nice so so thank you very much i hope that all of you will come out with flying colors my best wishes are with you thank you thank you thank you